Alright, today's video, we're going to be changing the lower control arms on the Speedle because if you saw my video a couple videos ago when I was doing the shock the shock struts with the upper rubber mount I saw that the lower control arm bushing which would be the trailing end is pretty much disintegrated and it just has a lot of play in it but you'll see once I take it off so yeah we're gonna go ahead and change those today I got both sides and I'm gonna show you how to do it and if you didn't see the last video this is why I'm changing these all that play okay now to take off the lower control arm we're gonna take the sway bar and link down here from the control arm the ball joint and the bracket with three bolts the tie rod end so we can uh, swing it out without pulling the the tie rod itself and the axle so we can swing this whole assembly out to be able to get to the ball joint and the axle won't be in the way to get that toy bar handling bolt is a 60 millimeter the ball joint bracket are 13 millimeters Tie rod is a 19 millimeter. Now you take this axle nut is a 12.30 mil. And before we take it all the way off, gotta break the kind of like connection that the axle has with the hub on the inside. It's if it's rusty it's gonna be even harder I don't have rust but it's just like the dirt and the pressure that has been used to squeeze it together they kind of just bond a little bit so just put the 30 mil back on hold it flat hit it with a decent sized mallet now you can see the gap that we created on it so right now when we pull this apart Got to put a little bit of tension on here or hold the axle from the back as you swing the bottom of this knuckle out. And there you go. Now you have access to your ball joint right there. You're going to need an 18 millimeter. That has a either breaker bar like that or a ratcheting, a big ratcheting wrench or a big ratchet, I mean. Okay, that is best case scenario right there. I'm gonna, uh, before I fully take off the nut, I'm gonna hammer it down so the ball joint comes out. There you go. The last two things you gotta take off are the front inner lower control arm. It's just the 18 millimeter bolt. And the last bolt that you need is this 18 millimeter. There is a nut on the top. But hopefully we don't need to hold on to it. You can just grab it with the 18 millimeter wrench if you need to. There you go. Here's the back one. Now you can see this lower control arm come out.
and there you go. This one was easier to take out than the last one. <laughs> it's just gone. And here's a comparison for the driver's side. Brand new. And there's this one. Let me take out this ball joint so I can install it into the knuckle. Can I go ahead and put the ball joint through the knuckle? Press it up, put the nut on. The nut, I don't can't remember what the old one was. The nut's a 19, and it's a size 6 Allen head that you're gonna need to hold while you tighten down the nut. Now with the ball joint installed onto the knuckle, we're gonna go ahead and install the lower control arm. Now I line up the front side of the lower control arm. Just gonna catch a couple threads with this bolt. Okay, you're gonna have to do this step together. You're gonna have to put the axle in the hub at the same time lowering, uh, lining up the ball joint with the lower control arm as they both go in together. Now with the ball joint bracket torqued down, I'm going to put this axle nut on just to hold it in place. It's not going to come off, but it's the first thing I see as I move, over, move my way over to the tie rod. I'm just going to leave it there for now. Add your sway bar and link. Before you put the final torque on the inner bolts on the front and the back, you're going to want to jack up the, the whole hub assembly, knuckle assembly, until the car starts moving. And then you know when the car's on the ground, that's its neutral state. And that's where you want to put the torque on. Now that we got everything torqued down, now we can put the wheels back on, put everything on the ground, and we can torque down the axle nut. This is going to be just for mine. It says to go to 148 foot pounds. Then it says loosen it 180. And it says torque it or turn it 60 degrees and there you go that's just for my car look up for your specific car okay there it is that's how you install the lower control arms on this new generation beetle hopefully this video helps you guys y'all have a good one